RADA Triage is a credit card sized casualty dosimeter for emergency preparedness. Radiological incidents, such as the nuclear power plant at Chernobyl, Ukraine in 1986 and Fukushima, Japan in 2011, do occur. Radioactive materials are mishandled as in Goiânia, Brazil in 1987. Many countries possess nuclear weapons and everyone is concerned about the impact of a dirty bomb. Such radiological incidences can create panic and cause millions of people to worry about their exposure. Radiation emitted by dispersed radioactive materials cannot be seen or felt by humans. Most people are unaware that the effects of radiation, as well as high dosages of radiation, are known to cause cancer or death. However, low dosages can be acceptable. In an event of a radiological incident, affected persons may ask questions like, Am I exposed? How much? How do I know? What should I do? Do I need any treatment? Will I get cancer or die? In an event of a radiological incident, one of the first things one needs is a dosimeter. A large number of detectors and dosimeters for monitoring radiation are available. These are some examples. Ionization, Geiger, semiconductor, silicone diodes, MOSFET, TLD, OSL, detectors and dosimeters are expensive, bulky, and fragile. They require a power source, training, and some even need readers. None are readily deployable in a radiological emergency. Due to their high sensitivity, about 0.01 MSV, they are used by radiation occupational workers for the dose of record throughout a career over decades. Without the proper training, these devices may cause worry in an emergency where some individuals may have received high doses and need treatment. The International Unit of Radiation Dose is millisievert, abbreviated MSV. 10 MSV equals 1 rem equals 0.01 gray, which equals 1 rad. This is for tissue equivalent materials. The following are some routinely accepted radiation exposures. A chest x-ray delivers about 0.1 MSV. On average, we receive about 0.3 MSV from the cosmic background and 2.5 MSV from the natural background every year. A gastric fluoroscopy delivers about 4 MSV. And depending upon its nature, a CT scan can deliver a dose between 5 and 50 MSV. Understanding and educating people about the effect of radiation is very important. There are no symptoms, treatment, or detectable increased risk of cancer if an adult receives a dose below about 20 MSV. A dose of 250 to 1000 MSV can be detected by biodosimetry, provided blood samples are taken within a few days of the exposure. The risk of developing cancer increases later in life if an adult receives a dose as high as 1000 MSV. However, there are no symptoms and treatment is not available. Symptoms start appearing only after about 2,000 MSV. A dose of about 10,000 or higher is fatal. The following are the effects of acute radiation exposures. 50 MSV is the U.S. yearly allowed dose for occupational workers. 250 MSV is the U.S. lifetime allowed dose for occupational workers, with no observable effects, no symptoms, no treatment. 250 to 1,000 MSV, slight blood changes occur. 1,000 to 2,000 MSV, a significant reduction in blood platelets and white blood cells occurs. 2,000 to 5,000 MSV, severe blood damage, nausea, hair loss, hemorrhage, and death in many cases. Greater than 6,000 MSV, death in less than two months for over 80%. 
It is important to keep in mind that the dose limits are much lower for fetus and young children. There is essentially no risk of cancer up to 20 MSV. 50 MSV is a yearly allowed dose in many countries. There are no symptoms or treatment up to about 100 MSV, and at 10,000 MSV, fatality is almost certain. Hence, in order to minimize panic and worry in a radiological emergency, one needs a dosimeter capable of monitoring from 10, 20, or 50 MSV through 10,000 MSV, which is also instant, self-indicating, user-friendly, affordable, lightweight, wearable, and always ready. Rad Triage has these and many other desired properties. There was a need, and previous to the Rad Triage, no such dosimeter was available. The development of Rad Triage fills the technological gap. In a radiological emergency, this credit card sized Rad Triage is the only citizen's dosimeter which has the desired dose range and all other properties essential to minimizing panic and worry. The sensor of RAD triage is a coating of highly radiation sensitive compounds called diacetylenes. When exposed to radiation, diacetylenes polymerize to colored plastics polymers using a type of chemical reaction that damages human cells. The color of the sensor intensifies with dose, as seen earlier in the video. The color development is instant, cumulative, and irreversible. Dose can be assessed by matching the color of the sensor with the adjacent color reference bars. This card was radiated with 50 MSV. The color of the sensor matches the 50 MSV bar. This card was radiated with 500 MSV. The color of the sensor matches the 500 MSV bar. The dosimeter has no electronic or moving parts. It is essentially fail-proof. It will always work, a feature that is essential for an emergency. See the flyer and user's manual for properties of RAD Triage 10 or visit www.jplabs.com. The FIT indicator is located on the right-hand end of the sensor. FIT is an acronym, F for false positive and negative signals, I for inactivation, change of calibration of the sensor, and T for tampering and time temperature, which is what the FIT indicator monitors. As you saw in the video, FIT has a negligible effect of gamma and x-ray. The number of blue dots may vary from 4 to 6. When received, the area surrounding the blue dots should be lighter than the color reference bar on its right. Upon expiration of service life or prolonged exposure to high temperature and sunlight, the area surrounding the blue dots will either match or become darker than the color reference bar, informing the user when to replace the card. In a least likely event, if the sensor is exposed to heat above 95 degrees C, the blue dots of the fit indicator change to red, indicating a change in calibration of the sensor. Replace the dosimeter if the dots are red. The fit indicator monitors the status of the sensor and hence makes rad triage a reliable dosimeter. Sensor instantly develops an irreversible color when exposed to 10 to 10,000 MSV of ionizing radiation. Radiation. It monitors gamma x-ray greater than 10 keV, electron beta greater than 100 keV, and neutrons. It will not monitor alpha particles. Dose integration is cumulative. Response retention is full. Uncertainty Visually, plus minus 20%. Colorimetry, plus minus 10%. Effect of dose rate, negligible. Support equipment, none needed to assess dose. Energy dependency, independent of energy, some attenuation of low energy radiation. Dimensions, 
credit card size. Effect of temperature of radiation, little. Effect of average humidity, none. Laundry, little effect from a few laundry cycles. Maximum operating temperature, about 90 degrees C for one day. Fit indicator. The fit monitors status of the sensor. It indicates cumulative effects of perimeters such as time, temperature, service life, and UV exposure simultaneously. Effect of sunlight, negligible over one week. Effect of ambient light, negligible over one month. Recommended service life, one year at room temperature. It decreases as temperature increases. Stockpileable. It can be stockpiled for about 10 years in a deep freezer. Heat sealed. The sensor is heat sealed between top amber and bottom opaque white films. Unique ID. Each dosimeter has its own unique barcode and a space to write your name on the back. Packaging. Provided along with user instructions in an envelope. Custom and local manufacturing. For large orders, it can be custom made to meet local format and language requirements. Patents. Manufactured under about 20 U.S. and foreign patents and applications. Trademarks. CRAD, RAD Triage, and RADFIT are registered trademarks of JP Labs. RAD triage is tested in the world's top independent laboratories and field proven for more than a decade. The RAD prototype was thoroughly tested by the U.S. Navy between 1998 and 2001. 6,000 RAD triage were deployed in 2003 in Iraq. It was lab and field tested by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security with 800 public safety personnel in USA in 2006. About 100,000 citizens of Japan used them during the Fukushima nuclear power plant incident and nearly 400,000 were used worldwide. Recently, between 2011 and 2013, it has been lab and field tested by the Israeli Ministry of Defense and a large order was placed by the IMOD. The technology of RAD triage has received numerous national and international awards and recognitions. The technology has received the Excellence in Technology Award from Frost and Sullivan in 2004, as well as the R&D 100 Award as one of the best 100 inventions in 2005. U.S. Patent Number 74768740 on RAD triage received the Edison Patent Award from the R&D Council of New Jersey in 2013. Visit the links to view the tribute by the R&D Council and acceptance speech of Dr. Patel. The technology was featured on the front pages of national and international newspapers such as Wall Street Journal and Associated Press, as well as headline news on ABC, BBC, and Fox News. Visit the links to see the news clips. Dr. Gordon Patel, the inventor, was invited by the U.S. Congressional Subcommittee to testify on this technology for combating terrorism in 2003. Visit the link to see his testimony. The technology was displayed on the U.S. Capitol Hill exclusively for senators and congressmen in 2007 as one of the products for combating terrorism. The technology received multi-million dollar funding from several U.S. agencies, such as the Department of Defense, the Department of Health and Human Services, the Department of State, the Department of Justices, the Department of Homeland Security, the Technical Support Working Group, and the Counterterrorism Technical Support Office. Users of RAD triage include public safety personnel, police, firefighters, and medical, military, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, and National Guard. Nuclear power plants, people living near nuclear power plants, baggage screeners at airports, people who live in cities at high risk of terrorist attacks and or those worried about radiation exposure. 
why stockpile only rad triage for an emergency. It possesses all essential features such as wearable, always ready, instant, user-friendly, rugged, and reliable. It is tamper resistant and tamper evident. It does not require training, a reader, batteries, calibration, or maintenance. It is unaffected by ambient conditions. There is an indicator, FIT, for constantly monitoring the status of the sensor. It is fail-proof, stockpileable, and readily deployable in an emergency. All other dosimeters and detectors are overly sensitive and can cause people to worry as well as create panic. RAD triage has the correct dose range for triaging. A huge quantity, over 100,000, can be stockpiled in a cubic meter of a freezer and be readily deployed. Other dosimeters will require about 20 times more space. Other dosimeters require support battery, reader, software, maintenance, etc., and services which may not be available or may become obsolete in 10 years. RAD triage will not require any other support or service at any time. Other dosimeters are about 20 times more expensive and require about 20 times more space than RAD triage. Why pay a dollar when a dime will do a better job? The interest on stockpiling other dosimeters alone can pay for the stockpiling of RAD triage. RAD triage is the only seeing is believing, affordable, user-friendly, field-proven, fail-proof, stockpilable, and deployable citizen's dosimeter for use in emergencies. If you have any questions or comments, please contact Dr. Gordon Patel, Ph.D., President, JP Laboratories, Inc., 120 Wood Avenue, Middlesex, New Jersey, 08. 846 USA. Phone number 732 469 6670. Email gnpatel at jplabs.com. Website www.jplabs.com. Thanks.